Today I'm going to be doing a very quick video. I'm going to show you how to roll out some fondant that I colored black in another video. I will link to that at the end of this video if you wish to see how I made black fondant out of some white fondant just by adding a little bit of um, food coloring. I have a little cat here that I'm going to be using as my template. So here's my nice newly colored fondant and I'm just going to start rolling this out. So if you've never used fondant and you're a little bit afraid to use it, don't be afraid. It's basically the same as rolling out a pie dough. It is no more complicated. There's no secret to it. You just roll it out and you can roll it out as thin or as thick as you like. That looks good. So simple process. You can use any shape you wish. I'm going to be making these for Halloween. And I'm just going to start cutting these cute little cats out. I'm just going to use a spoon to help me pop those out. And we'll get another one. And these are going to be little toppers for some nice cupcakes that I'm making. Look at that. Aren't those cute? And if you do let those sit out a little while, they will get nice and firm. And if you want to get really fancy, you can make a little area, just depress it with the back of a spoon, and then you can take a little bit of white fondant and you can just, you know, make a little ball and just pop it in there as the eye. And what's great about fondant is that you can just keep reusing this and reusing this. You just roll it up again and away you go. I'll just put these on a cake scraper so that you can see the contrast here. You can see how nice these are. Super, super simple. So when you go into your pastry shop and you see little decorations made out of fondant, that's all they did. They just took a piece of fondant, rolled it out, and cut them out just like that. And there we go. So that's really a fast tip for today. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.